My senior year at Edison High, I decided to take a class through the ROP program called Art of Animation with Zoe Seals. I had the opportunity to go into class each day and learn the basics of what it was like to be in the animation industry. I learned to read the trades, I learned to sketch every day, I learned to tell stories from life, and I learned animation principles that were invaluable to setting the stage for me. I decided to go to Chapman University in their film program and study animation, which was incredible. And a lot of those opportunities came out of me being able to be in high school and learn a lot about the, the work ethic and the vision needed to be successful kind of in the university level for art. And that brought me to where I'm at now, which is actually a production coordinator at DreamWorks TV. Uh, since that time, I've been able to make uh, short films independently and my own webcomic as well as some of my own art. I post daily on Tumblr, which is a habit that I learned in ROP because we would sketch every day and that's something that all artists in animation tend to do very frequently. Uh, right now, currently at DreamWorks, I'm able to learn from all the other artists around me and someday really hope to have a chance to grow into that in a professional environment. I think ROP has been really impactful in setting that kind of foundation and spearheading the path towards where I'm at now. I'm Wesley Ogle and I'm a reporter at K2, a wonderful news station in Portland, Oregon. And I couldn't have gotten here without Tina Murphy and Coastline ROP at Northwood High School. That was your news. I'm still Wesley Ogle and now you know. We all know that Thanksgiving is a time to watch football, stuff our faces, and get our cheeks pinched by our grandmas. But on Forest Street, there's something that really rocks. The things I learned in my ROP class have gotten me to three different news stations in less than four years. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. So just kind of let them maybe drop a little bit more. So I would slow down a little bit and I would give you more, I'd have more power. Just pronunciate a little bit better. Look at it. Which is, uh, it just depends on how loud the mic is though. Maybe they would tell you to hold it up high, but usually you'd hold it a little bit. I not only learned the ins and outs of broadcast, but I also learned how to be confident in my abilities so that now I can take the TV news world by storm. I have a passion for technology. Uh, when I found out that ROP was available to us in graphic design and web design classes, uh, I jumped on the opportunity to, to take those. So uh, it turned me from a, a teenager that was largely unfocused into someone who had a, a place to focus their passions and create opportunities for career and personal growth. Those opportunities would lead me through college. By the time I was out of college, those skills helped me get to uh, career entry points that I wanted to be at. I had a sizable body of work to show, a portfolio to go with that work, and opportunities for work that I wouldn't have otherwise gotten if I hadn't attended the ROP programs. Now, I'm a senior user interface designer for a big nutraceutical company that generates six to seven figures a month. Some of the things that I learned from ROP is the things that, that you don't learn in college. You only learn uh, through experience generally you have more than just the technical skills, you have the understanding of how to apply these skills as well. If it hadn't been for the ROP program, I don't even know what I would have done. I had an idea coming out of high school what I really wanted to do with myself. The ROP was like, it was like the lens, you know, to focus the laser. I had these skills and I had the drive that, uh, that ROP gave to me. In high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. Everyone sort of threw this term engineering at me and I was like, okay, engineering, what is that? What does that mean? I know it's sort of math and science, but what does that mean in terms of a job? In this ROP course, Manufacturing Engineering Technology, you get that bridge between your theoretical knowledge and the real world. It's so useful and so essential and it's helped me in college even now. So once I got to college, I was able to join a club called Baja Racing, where they design and build an off-road vehicle and then race it in competitions. Because of my background in manufacturing, I was able to immediately jump on the team and start doing work. 
They even had the same exact machine that I had been trained on in the course, and so it was a very easy transition. The next project I worked on was a project for one of my courses where we were tasked with building a small-scale wind turbine that would operate in low wind speeds. A lot of people were coming up with a lot of different designs. Because I had this background in manufacturing, I was able to look at each of the designs and look at the machines that we had and the tools that we had, the materials and the budget, and I was able to say, these ones aren't so practical and these ones are. So right off the bat, I was a very valuable asset to my team. After the course, my instructors were so impressed with my background that they even asked me to come back next year and help them teach the course. All of this is because I decided to take ROP Manufacturing Engineering in high school.